In this video we're going to look at how to create a printout of a solid model in Bobcat. First I have my solid model here. Now I'm going to want to take two views of this, a plan view and a section view. Now to create the section view I'm going to need to make a copy of this model. So we'll come here to Utilities Translate, select the model. Now I'm just going to go ahead and move it incrementally or delta and we'll move it over half of an inch in X with a copy. Now I'm going to take the copy that I just made and we'll rotate it. We'll rotate it 90 degrees around Y. So now I have a side view of this. Now in order to get a section I'm going to need to actually cut this in half. So I'm going to come here to solids cube. I'm going to make a 12 by 12 by 2 inch cube. Just larger than the uh, part. What I'm going to do is move this part up to make them intersect. So we'll move this up one inch at a time. I'll just hit OK until the parts intersect. Now we'll come here to Solid Subtract. I'm going to go ahead and pick the part to keep, pick the one to take away, and click OK. Now from the top view I can see that I have a section as well as a top view. So what we're going to do is come over here to translate. I'll move this part over a little bit closer. Now to dimension this I'm going to need to extract the edges off of the part or use the 2D geometry. We'll come to utilities, extract edges. I'll go from single and I'll pick each face that I'm going to want to dimension. I can now hide the solid model and we'll see that we have a wireframe or 2D geometry left. So now I'll go ahead and change the color. Just make it a little bit easier to see the dimensions and we'll place our dimensions. I'm just going to set my font and text height. and we can now place our dimensions on the model. And you could place as many dimensions as you're going to need. Once we've done that, we'll unhide the solids if we want to show them. And now I've already created a, a border or a template, so I'm going to go ahead and merge that in. You'll want to save out a uh, drawing template or border, the information on it that you may want. Now these parts, I'm going to move them over. Since they're a little bit small for the border, I'm going to go ahead and scale them up. Let's say we use a 2 to 1 scale. So I'll go to Translate, I'll go Delta, and we'll set the scale to 2 and we'll place the movement at 0. We'll select all of this and then click OK. And now we can go ahead and drag that to wherever we want it on the screen. I could turn off the shading. Now I'm left with a 2D print that I could print out. You'll want to remember for each view that you want you'll need to make a copy of the solid model you'll also need to save out a drawing border to bring in to place your objects together as well as any annotations that you use commonly.